give you the points. Mm. Okay, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Ana is Medaria. You said me an Urahi Bikum, Niabatan and Jamiat Sibiria al Fidralia. A Sahubirkum al Yaum and Jamiat Sibiria al Fidralia. A woman to Kadim Ulul to Rob al Janib. A while like in Biluga to Al Inglesia, La Inaha Akthar Sihula Benizbili. Yeah, so I uh, said everything right and you understood me, yeah? <laughs> Whew, that's great. So then let's start. Uh, Siberian Federal University is located in Krasnersk. That's the capital of Krasnersk region, the geographical center of Russia, Russia. But the main point here is not just we are in Russia, but we are in Siberia. So what do you know about this place? Nothing. Well, uh, as all stereotypes say, it's a very cold, dark place. People live in villages, there is no civilization, lots of bears outside, so very dangerous place. Well, probably that was true like thousands of years ago, but today Krasnersk is a very modern and dynamic city with a population of more than one million people. The city has uh, developed infrastructure, we have lots of places, lots of facilities and opportunities to have bright life. A city as well as the region is an industrial one. We have major well-known enterprises that produce gold, uh, gold, uh, silver, gas, oil, other materials and supply uh, with these materials not just Russia but the whole world. Uh, of course we have cold winter in comparison with Egypt but still we get used to wear warm clothes and we feel comfortable outside. And in the building, it's very warm because we have central heat system. And the summer is very hot, actually. Maybe not that hot, but it will be very comfortable for you. And as for Krasnersk, another fact is that we have uh, lots of nature outside. Uh, we have some national reserve parks. And these places, they're very popular, uh, not just among citizens, but also among tourists. So if you think that there is nothing to do in Krasnersk, sorry guys, but you are mistaken. <laughs> there is a lot of things to do. Coming back to our university. Our university, uh, it's large multidisciplinary university. It's in top 20 ranking of universities in Russia. And we also uh, have very good positions in world uh, rankings. For example, uh, in the engineering programs, ranking. We, uh, the, our position is uh, 129, so it's very good. We have very profound programs. We have 22 schools, and inside of the schools we have lots of faculties, a wide range of programs. We teach more than 26,000 students, and 1,000 of them are international ones. Of course, we don't have students like in Moscow or St. Petersburg, like, do you know the cities? Yeah, great. But still, uh, we really value each of our international students. We treat them well and we do all our best so that they are staying in Krasnersk is comfortable, cozy and just hospitable. So these students, they come to us. Why? Because our education is practically oriented. We have four years and five years of bachelor instead of three years like in European countries. Why? Because 40% of education is practice. So we all understand that reading books, drilling theory is good, but what's the point if you cannot apply this knowledge? And that's why uh, in our, at our schools, our students, they practice in laboratories. For example, which programs are you interested in? Computer science, yes? Business, and okay, what else? Huh? Mm -hmm, okay, great, so we have these programs. So we have conventional programs, here's engineering schools. For example, in Polytechnic School and School of Space and Informatic Technologies, t uh, students learn mechatronics and robotics, software engineering. Uh, they learn how to make robots pr and programs by their hands. They take part in uh, educational contests 
where they compete with other students. So they get experience that is very valuable in life. Of course, we have natural science schools. Uh, the first three schools, like petroleum and gas, uh, mining, geology, non-ferrous metals, uh, they are partners of those enterprises that I told you about that supply uh, the world. And that's why students, they go to these enterprises and they learn how to get oil from wells, how to work with gold and other metals, so that they not just know how to do it, but they also can share their knowledge, their experience. For those who doesn't like numbers, we have humanities. Uh, so, law school, humanities, education, philology, and language communication, for example, if you like languages. And we have School of Business and Management that teaches not only just ordinary management, but it has biz uh, business informatics. What is it? It's uh, the program about how you use technologies, different websites, programs, to make your business prosper. So it's like we are living in the 21st century, we need to use technologies, so to be very rich and successful. And our special pride is less conventional schools, it's School of Physical Education, Sport and Tourism, and School of Gastronomy. The last school, um, it collaborates with the French Institute of Paul Bocuse. Uh, they, uh, all, like they hire chefs, from France and from Russia, like very highly qualified. And these chefs, they uh, gave a master classes to our students. So at the end, they become very educated, very like perfect chefs and restaurant managers. So the majority of programs <laughs> is taught in Russian, unfortunately. But it's not a problem. And of course, you need to understand that when you go to another country, it's very useful to know the language of this country. And here we have our courses, our creative and experienced teachers, they use lots of applications and programs to make uh, classes very in entertaining and interactive. So it's not just uh, reading books, translating texts, uh, drilling, uh, they use different games. So learning English becomes funnier and easier. Moreover, um, because we have nature outside the city. Um, teachers go to, musical, to museums, to theaters, go to national parks, so the students can learn Russian culture and traditions, not just in the classroom, but outside. Talk to people and uh, find more information about Russia. Of course, what do you think? Education is just about sitting in the classroom or there is something more? Something more, yeah, for sure. Uh, it's just, there are a lot of things behind it. And here we can say that Siberian Federal University is home-like atmosphere. Why? First of all, because our students live in a comfortable modern dormitories. Like, speaking simply, it's just like you have a flat, one room, two people. In these two students, they have kitchen and a bathroom with all facilities needed for themselves. They do not need to share it with our, the corridor of students. And the price, just pay attention to it. It's very like, it's very funny, it's very silly <laughs> because for one month you will pay like, the maximum will be 500 guinea. Yeah. Is it expensive? No. For sure, it's not expensive at all. <laughs> like for example, to rent a flat it will cost you like, uh, $400. Here it will be $15, $25 per month. Yeah. It's very cheap, yeah. Just we, I, I'm, I'm uh, literally wondering why they're so cheap. <laughs> it's illegal. So, uh, in spare time, students, they can join dance clubs, musical clubs, and of course, something wrong with our text, but it's fine. Uh, we have lots of sport facilities, more than 20 of them. So it's like classical basketball, football, volleyball. But since we are in Siberia, we have ski complex. I know that in Egypt, uh, you have uh, sand uh, boarding, yeah? Have you tried it? Yeah. Is it cool? Should I try it? You should try Okay, so I will have tomorrow, like free day, maybe I will try it. <laughs> but you should come and try skiing and snowboarding. 
It's very like you warm. It's a little bit cold outside, but you are very warm, and it's like the wind is blowing. You are just like a Superman going down the slope. And we have Olympic-sized swimming pool, golf course, and a climbing wall. And just it's just the small part of pro of sport facilities that we have. And of course, you don't need to be like to worry or to fear to come to Russia. Because we have international department that has lots of offices that coordinate your being in Russia. First of all, admission office. Do you recognize me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's my beautiful colleagues. We help you like from the first letter to our university. We help you with documents. Uh, we help you like with entrance exams, like social, like emotionally supporting you, and with other stuff. And we have the support office. By the way, they have specialists who speak Arabic. Yeah, and they help you with dorms, with uh, just educational process. They organize different events like New Year's Eve so you can continue learning Russian culture. If you still have any doubts whether to come to us, whether to apply to our university, we have the message from our student to vanish all your worries and fears. Excuse me, sound. So once again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mahmoud bin Masr. I'm a professor of the Federal Academy of Science in the Second Year of Science. Of course, when I was in Russia, I was thinking about the fact that Russia is a very small country and it's not going to go anywhere. But when I came here, I was very happy. طبعا في الصيف هنا الجو حر يعتبر زي مصر وفي الشتاء انتوا عارفين ان في روسيا الجو برد بس كل البيوت وكل الاماكن المغلقه مزوده بنظام التدفئه او مش هتحسوا بحاجه بس لما بنخرج من الشارع لازم نلبس تيل طبعا عشان نتاقلم مع الجو اللي في الشارع وطبعا زي ما بيقولوا هنا في سيبيريا الشخص السيبيري لم يكن الشخص الذي يشعر بالبرد بل الشخص الذي يرتدي ملابس دافئه عشان كده محدش يخاف من البرد تعالوا روسيا تعالوا جامعة سابيريا الفيدرالية نحن في انتظاركم شكرا محمود <تصفيق> So if you have any questions do not hesitate to ask them we are sitting there in the box uh, number is Ashara A or we have email and whatsapp number so that you can use to contact us so we are looking forward to you We are welcoming you at Jamiat Sibiria Al-Fidralia. Shukran, Jazeelan luck for your attention.